Hello Internet, welcome back to our RimWorld series. In last episodes, uh, we've been getting our hydroponics set up. And uh, yeah, we're still dealing with toxic fallout, which is a real... <sighs> is a real bummer. It's been seven days. Starting to get worried. Uh, so I did look in between episodes, we were very worried about our food for the animals. They are apparently capable of consuming meals, so we probably will move stacks of meals over there. For the time being, we will send them pemmican. I believe they can also eat any kind of pemmican. So what we're going to do is expand this storage to include pemmican. And we're going to go with simple meals. And I'm hoping that, can we, let's unassign, let's unrestrict Whitlock because he's been doing a lot of our hauling. Actually, how's your health? I haven't checked in a while. Okay. Can you haul? No, you can't haul them. Um, is there a way to limit the number you put into any quality? We cannot restrict the number of meals that go there. I would really like to be able to only put like 10 meals in here. So what we'll do instead, we'll up this bill to call it 40 simple meals. So she's going to be doing a lot of work. We're going to be consuming a lot of vegetable matter. Although, again, we're starting to harvest these hydroponics, which is pretty good. Let's move all the way over here just to see 13 rice. Really very small numbers of rice. I don't like that. Uh, okay, we, we got some heel root growing as well. We're going to expand this, put more hydroponics in. I'm worried about our power situation. Currently, 4,000... I mean, that's a lot of excess, but that's with four fully functional solar panels. Yeah, so the excess that we currently are getting, which is 4,800 watts, is roughly equivalent to these four machines working full power. So when the power dies overnight, we're going to be at about zero for incoming power storage. So that's when the batteries will take over and do a lot of work for us. I was also thinking we should expand and take over this other geyser as well just because it would be a significant increase to our power output which is really handy i don't see any others on the map unfortunately okay so mark this as how do we want to do this let's shrink it pemmican and meals okay and we'll set this to critical how many do these stack in? Tens? Where's the other stack? I thought we had a lot more meals than that. Nah. Okay, so they stack in stacks of ten. So what should happen is Whitlock will haul the pemmican. And he will haul simple meals as necessary to that section. Why can't you haul this? I set it to critical. There we go. And then haul the pemmican as well. And that should help with the, keeping our animals alive. What else do we want to do? We really want this expanded currently. What we're going to have to do is make that part of our zone, allowed zone, for safe people. Otherwise, they won't come and uh, work on that. And then we, you know, honestly, I could expand it in the other direction as well. I was thinking about making orders to set up additional bedrooms. What I'm realizing is that this mountain is a little smaller than I would have liked. I would have liked it to be like huge chunk so that we could build lots and lots of things into the mountain. Um, Cause we need more bedrooms. We definitely need more, more bedrooms. And this uh, is a pretty pathetic rec room we've got going on. And they have to walk all the way over here for meals and things. Uh, I was also thinking we should reduce their restrictions a little bit. Like in the, like, I don't like mandating that they work all hours of the day. So I thought we would give them more rec time in the morning and we would move their rec time further back in the evening and maybe make this like anything because I think they'll still default to working a lot of the time when anything is selected, but I'm not a hundred percent. I just, I don't know how that works exactly. So Whitlock will be transferring those items. It's getting pretty filthy in here as well, but it is a barn. Does it? It does say barn. That's cute. I didn't know it would uh, default. 
Anyway, um, so what were we... Oh, so I did also want to say in the last episode I had uh, been using my automatic question generator and it asked me, who's your favorite entertainer or comedian or whatever? And I started talking about Chris Pratt. I want to be real clear. Chris Pratt is not my favorite entertainer. He's just someone that I really liked in Parks and Rec. And I felt so obligated to say that because he has been in just god-awful movies since he has been, like, he's currently, like, the new hotness, right? Everybody loves Chris Pratt. Um, Whitlock, before you research, I would like you also to haul some of these rocks. How's your health? You're fine. Okay, so we have food down here for the animals. Let's haul, okay, haul the remainder of the pemmican. Then begin hauling. What time is it? It is getting later, so we'll just prioritize two, and then we'll call it a day for him. Yeah, so I really liked Parks and Rec. I'm a big fan of, like, office comedies. Love The Office, one of the funniest shows uh, of all time. Uh, obviously, you know, Michael Scott is... I mean, if you don't like The Office, I don't know what's wrong with you. Some people just aren't into it. I, I don't fault you for that. But, uh, yeah, Parks and Rec was something of a follow-up to that. You know, Superstore is now currently the office comedy that I think is the best on television. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Superstore, but I do really like America Ferreira and uh, Ben. What's his name? What's his real name? The guy who plays Jonah. Can't think of his real name. He was in As Above, So Below, which I thought was a very interesting movie, but ultimately not very good. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, Chris Pratt, ever since he got famous, he's been in just terrible movies. I thought the first Guardians was pretty good because I really liked the character he was playing. But then just the rest of them just were just have not been good uh the other guardians the second guardians was nonsense and uh jurassic world is some of the worst movies that uh, the, like the first jurassic world was passable everyone likes dinosaurs if you don't like dinosaurs i don't want to know you we're not going to be friends um and of course when i was a kid jurassic park came out i think i was five when jurassic park came out and I didn't see it until I was like nine or ten. And you know, every most kids go through a phase where they really like um, dinosaurs, and so it was like a really great film. And 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 that first Jurassic Park is um, is wonderful. Like, there's nothing I can say really negative about. I mean, there's a little stuff, but like good movies, Jurassic World. Clearly a, ca a cash grab. Uh, everything was CG. I actually really prefer practical effects in movies. Like my, probably my favorite movie of all time would be The Thing, the John Carpenter's The Thing, which of course is very famous for having a lot of really good practical effects that still hold up really well. Manhunter Pack, I would love Dra <laughs> Dromedaries. You look camely, isn't, aren't dromedary, so uh, in the previous episode I made some comment like, aren't alpacas and, and, uh, llamas the same kind of species or whatever? What is it, what is a dromedary? Dromedary, is that the, is that the species that they are? Trying to remember, no, because they're camel somethings, like it has the word camel in it, I think. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go out and fight them because this is three big chunks of meat. Oh, if we could turn on the turrets. I don't think we have the ability to do that. We're gonna let them, first of all, Whitlock, you gotta be careful because you're currently unrestricted. I'm going to mark him back as people safe. I would love, who has the best gun? Uh, probably Vaughn has the best gun, but it's short range. Whitlock has a shotgun, turtle. I suppose we could send Whitlock. I mean, honestly, if we sent people out, we would just send all of them. Meerkat never did get a weapon. Why don't you grab a mm, shotgun? I really am hesitant to give everyone shotguns. What quality is it? Normal at 100%. Machine pistols damaged. These are poor. Uh, normal revolver at full health. What's the, let's look at the range. Range 26 on the revolver. Shotgun is probably like 12, 16. I mean, 16 tiles is pretty far. Yeah, we'll give him a shotgun. Meerkat, what's your shooting skill? Let's see, of course, 
Of course, it's zero. Grab when you wake up. No, you're gonna. I'm gonna force you to wake up here in a moment anyway. Everybody, wake up. Uh, we're gonna draft Vaughn. We're just gonna set up like a killing field. Let's uh, pull everybody in here. Whitlock, I'll let you sleep for a minute. Turtle, Pixie can't fight. Kimmy can. Kimmy has a bolt action. We'll get Meerkat his shotgun. No, 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 no. Oh, I thought I saw someone run out. I was like, oh my god, you're gonna get murdered by wannabe can camels. I uh, let him finish eating. Okay, draft him. Whitlock, you're in such a bad spot. Um, we're gonna leave Whitlock alone. As soon as he comes outside, he's gonna get attacked. We're gonna keep an eye on it. Pixie, just keep going about your business. You four, can you stack up? There we go, okay. Whitlock, I wanna draft you and keep you there just so you don't get murdered. Oh good, very easy, very easy. I was worried they would be like super tanky. Oh, Whitlock woke up. What we're gonna do, we're gonna draft him and pull him back here. And hopefully that draws the attention of the nearby wildlife. Oh, yeah. There we go, number two approaching. Nice kill squad set up. Oh, they went down so easy. Come on, other one. I would love for you to die as well. Oh, just mer just demolish them. Okay, everybody go back about your business. Um, Whitlock, if you could kindly... How long were they outside? Not very long. Oh, you lost an index finger. That's right. Let's go ahead and unrestrict Whitlock. Because he's our hauler. We'll never do. No, don't rescue. Oh, that we have to murder them. Yeah. Everybody come here. Let's real quick murder. Whitlock, grab these corpses. Haul. Haul. This is really good. We really needed meat. Uh, Whitlock, get out of the way. Everybody else, murder this. Don't shoot Whitlock. Excellent. Okay. So, undraft everyone. Go about your business. Whitlock, grab those corpses. Really good, we really needed the meat. Uh, so super happy to see that. Who did we set up? Whitlock, we did set up to be possible at cooking. What is your cooking skill? I don't know if cooking skill actually affects butchering or not. How, does, how do they determine how much meat you get? Let's, uh, instead of doing that, Turtle, would you kindly clean this? Because <laughs> I hate seeing spots on my floor. I really hate the inability to click dirt. I don't understand what that stems from exactly, uh, but it gets pretty frustrating to not be able, because you clearly see dirt there, and not be able to click that is a little irritating. What was I talking about? Oh, uh, of course, Chris Pratt. Yeah, he's been in awful, awful movies. Um, Jurassic World was clearly like a cash grab attempt at rebooting a beloved franchise, which I did not much care for. The first one is passable. Has Judy Greer in it. She's wonderful. Um, she, I mean, she's not really in it. She's there briefly. And uh, Ron Howard's daughter does an okay job in that movie. And Chris Pratt is charming, but the characters they have set up are very unappealing and I don't care for them. And uh, yeah, first one was, you know, passable. I can understand, you know, there's a whole new generation who did not have that, you know, sense of wonder for the first time when they discovered Jurassic Park. And it's nice to give that opportunity for new people to find something beloved and beautiful and, and charming. But uh, yeah, it just wasn't good. The second one was probably the worst movie I had watched at that time. You can stop making kibble. Plenty of kibble. Yeah, it's not in the uh, zone, so it's not counting this as our numbers. So what we're going to do, we're going to remove the meals and pemmican from this group, and we'll just make that kibble again. And uh, I think they would be eating these. Yeah, we're down to eight. Are any of you, like, starving or anything? They look okay. They'll eat through some of that as we go. But yeah, that second Jurassic World movie, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's terrible. Oh, you know what I am going to spoil? Passengers, which is another Chris Pratt movie. So if you haven't seen Passengers, it's a sci-fi 
uh, film with uh, Chris Pratt and uh, what's her name? Je- Jen- Jessica- Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence looked really good. I uh, was very excited. I think it's one of the first movies I ever watched on video on demand because I just was never really into the video on demand stuff. Um, that movie <laughs> looked beautiful. Like that's I actually really like that movie because it looks gorgeous. It's fantastic. Uh, the space stuff is very good. You know, it, it's very appealing. You've got two actors who are pretty good actors. Uh, you know, Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt. And I just felt like the whole movie was terrible. So I'm about to spoil it. Um, basically, Chris Pratt wakes up too early in a... It's like an arc ship. They're traveling like a hundred, like hundreds of years or something into space to find a new place to live. I forget what they call it, Homestead or something like that. Is some new... Um, like planet that they're going to colonize and uh Whitlock if you could in the morning it's too late at night we're gonna wait until tomorrow morning oh wait a minute oh I thought it went away I was so excited I didn't see the toxic fallout they're going to this place where they're gonna you know it's like a colony ship right and uh Chris Pratt's like a handyman or something and he's gonna always go build a cabin in this new wondrous new planet and he wakes up too early from cryo sleep um, go tend to Bratwurst kindly, Whitlock. Take care of our animal. We do have herbal medicine now, which is really nice. And we will tend to our pets to make sure that uh, it's pretty likely. Oh, that's the wrong dog. Pretty likely that this will spread, I imagine. But we can take care of that as we go. Yes, sleep, Whitlock. I have a lot of hauling for you to do tomorrow. And, uh,. He wakes up early and he's by himself on this ship for like a year and it's like he loses his mind like after one year of solitude on a ship that has all of these wonderful amenities all of these really cool you know he's never gonna starve to death he's always got recreation stuff to do after like a year he's like on the verge of suicide and like not taking care of himself and it's like it's ridiculous why like it's only been a year like and he feels like like oh i can't keep going i don't have anyone you know there's no one it's just me i'm so lonely and it's like dude i haven't had a girlfriend in like five years and i don't have any friends and i'm doing just i mean i'm not gonna say i'm doing fine because that would be a complete lie but uh i'm not like where he's at you know he's like ready to kill himself and it's crazy and uh then he forcibly wakes up Jennifer Lawrence, he's like, if I'm here, I'm going to strand someone else. And it's like a horror movie. Like, if you saw that movie, I think CinemaSin said this. If they, they were like, if you saw this movie through her eyes, from her perspective, you would hate Chris Pratt for the rest of your life. Like, there's no... And then, of course, because they're beautiful people, they're going to fall in love and blah, blah, etc. But, like, that movie, despite looking gorgeous and despite being like... We are out of power. Oh, because of the eclipse, we drained our batteries. Man, this person who is controlling these random events is not being very kind to us. And it's lasting a long time. It's been a full day. Um, Getting a little tired of our constant power issues. And the more we expand hydroponics, the worse it's going to get. And once these lose power, the plants start to die. So we really need... We could set up a chem fuel generator or a wood generator. Because uh, I believe if you tame boomalopes, you can harvest them for chem fuel. And apparently it's like a lot of chem fuel, so you can power generators with that pretty easily. Maybe we just go more turbines. How do we not have enough steel? We had thousands of steel last I checked. Where did all of our steel go? We had so much steel. What did I build that required all that steel? Oh, hydro... Of course. Of course. I'm so stupid. Okay. Um, and there's no other steel in sight, really. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's mark this for mining. I can't believe we ran out of steel already. I didn't think about that as I was building the uh, 
the uh, hydroponics, how much steel they would require. In fact, what we can do is cancel some of this. How much do they require? At least 71, apparently. Yeah, a lot, actually. Okay, I mean, I guess I could have just checked hydroponics. 100 steel per, per bed. Yeah, it's kind of a lot. Uh, let's uh, focus on getting up another windmill so we have more power when the solar goes out because obviously we are currently working at a deficit, which is not great. If we look here, why doesn't it say how much drain it is? I wish it would say the total amount that we're currently drawing in power, but it's not. And here we're not getting power to our fridge as well, which is a real problem. Getting real tired of constantly trying to address these power issues. I know we're using a lot of power and I'm probably being pretty wasteful with the number of heaters and things I have running, but uh, that doesn't make me less frustrated by it. Let's, uh, we could build one up here which should be fine yeah it should be fine and we will unrestrict Vaughn and we will tell him to work on the turbine and then they'll be gathering a little bit extra steel and we'll build this wall back up oh thank god the toxic fallout has un has is finished okay okay everybody back out everybody's fine animals you can go back outside which will let them supplement their food with uh Huskies go carnivore, buffaloes go area one. This will help supplement their food with the buffaloes eating some of the grass and things. Unfortunately, it is too late in the year for us to grow anything. We can harvest some hay grass probably by the end of the year, but unfortunately, let's disallow sowing on everything. Yeah, hay grass, I, how long does it take to grow hay grass? Growing time, seven days. Uh, I mean, it's 11th of September. Uh, we can probably grow some hay grass. Turtle, if you would kindly... Why can't I force you to grow? Can't click there. Um, I have no idea. Why can't I make her grow here? Turtle, Kimmy, I have no idea why I can't uh, right click. <sighs> I don't understand the right clicking in this game. Sometimes it just doesn't do anything. I know she's making meals, but like that shouldn't be preventing her from being explicitly told to do something. Okay, bad se oh bad seasonal temperature. Ah, so we're already past the growth. 6th of September. Okay, I thought we could grow longer into the year. That's a real problem. Why don't we just harvest what we can before it starts to freeze and die? Go ahead and harvest that if you can. These are, I guess, also harvestable at the moment. None of those are. None of this is. Okay. Party. I mean, I guess you're happy that you're outside again. Minor break risk. Uh, you know, Vaughn and Kimmy have not got, or Vaughn and Turtle have not gotten into a fight recently. We are again out of power. Oh my God. Just come on. Give me a break, please. Give me a break. Uh, we need more power. So what we're going to do, we're going to unsuspend our brick making. Slate blocks. And we're going to... We're going to wait until we have more slate bot blocks because I think if you start constructing and then someone destroys, it, if it's not constructed and pirates come or raiders or whatever, they will attack partially constructed. So it would be kind of pointless to, to set that up now. Work frenzy, Pixie. She will work faster for the next eight days. Great. You can make lots of bricks in the next eight days, I bet. Continue mining that out. Uh, we really want to close this room off, otherwise it will affect... Yeah, there go the plants. So I'm glad we harvested the hay. Hay. 48. Man, that's uh, sure didn't get a lot done there, huh? 
and currently we will well they'll use hay i don't know if they prioritize using hay or how that works we're gonna wait for wildlife to return as well and start hunting immediately really glad we didn't have to kill any of our animals once i realized that you could feed them meals and things i knew it would be better um so that's not super concerning turtle good job I was just thinking about making you do that. So I'm glad she took the time to do that. Let's, um, what is, what is happening? Kibble. Oh, they just haven't hauled it, I guess. Whitlock, before you research, why don't you haul much of this kibble to storage for the animals? That would be great. Batteries are charging. Yeah, really would like to get to this other geothermal at some point. Uh, just because that will do a lot to give us more power. Just, uh, I guess, I don't know. Maybe we need more batteries so that we can store more power overnight would help. I think we need more solar panels. I think we need more of everything. Uh, yeah. So I liked Passengers. I thought it was a really bad movie uh, from like a plot and story standpoint. But... I really liked the CG of the space stuff was excellent. I thought it was very good. And uh, yeah, I thought that that made up for a lot of the shortcomings of the book. We, you know, we made carpet, we researched carpets and then we never did anything with it. Maybe we'll make some carpets. Auto cannon turret. Long range auto cannon turret. Precision rifling, multi barrel, mini guns. No, transport pods. Can use to send people and supplies long distances. Can be used for raiding, travel, sending gifts, and more. Is that worth the effort? Uh, flat screen? Sure, we'll research. Who doesn't like flat screens? Let's uh, look into carpets. Uh, floors, I guess. Red carpet. I mean, what's the benefit of carpet? It's heavy. What does that mean? Light, medium, heavy. I don't, it's flammable, beauty of two versus let's say, I don't know, wood floor, beauty of zero, okay. What about the uh, smooth, well the smooths have two I think, let's say we went with tiles, how much would, we would go with like limestone or slate, one beauty, I don't know if it's even really worth it to put carpet down when it's super flammable and we could just smooth the floor for the same amount of of beauty or whatever so i don't know how much i like that let's uh get vaughn he's probably making traps yeah we're running out of bricks as i said uh she should be working hard at that though today pixie what are you doing cutting stone blocks from chunk yeah yeah we've set those up to be hauled hopefully they haul that over time meerkat and uh vaughn are mining now which is fine Traps are up and running, turrets are off. Batteries are not charging during the day. We're using too much power. See, now it says negative. Oh, why do we have an excess all of a sudden? Maybe the, maybe this doesn't always put out power. Maybe it's only when it surges. I don't know how that works. Don't know how that works. I am worried about our power situation. I feel like we need way more solar panels. And it's crazy because I see people on YouTube who have much small, like larger bases than this. And they have like one geothermal and a couple of solar panels and they're fine. So I don't know if I'm just wasting, like if this is 700 watts. Is there any way to turn this off? Maybe if we set up a switch? I mean, no, because it, probably connects directly to I don't know how we would set this up to have a switch can't think of a good way of doing that you know what we're gonna do pixie we're gonna set up a small nah I was gonna say we'll set up a small zone where they can drop off stone for her but they're already not really hauling the stone out of there so I don't think that that's a huge priority 200 blocks. We're going to need a lot more than that. Good job, everybody. I love you colonists. You're doing great. You're doing great work. How are we doing temperature-wise? Pretty comfortable. Really cold in the kitchen. Didn't think about that. 
Cold in the freezer, of course. Cold in here. Well, it's warm in there. Warmish in there. Warm in there. I mean, we could turn things... Well, no, because Kimmy sleeps in there currently. I was going to say we could turn things off. We're going to reinstall this over here so that it warms these two rooms and possibly warms this room as well. It's actually pretty comfortable inside the mountain. I guess it insulates a lot better than I expected it to. Okay, everybody's out working. Vaughn is hauling. Um, blocks. I mean, I guess we can start working on the wall. We give Vaughn something to do. So let's go ahead and build a slate wall. We should actually call the episode. So I think we'll call the episode here and we'll come back and uh, start setting up for the next geothermal plant in the next episode. So for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll be back with more in the near future. See you next time.